What's up? My name is Alex Costa and today I want to help you with your skin. So many guys ask me, Alex, what do you do for skincare? How do you have such clear skin? And the reality is skincare isn't something that you can just do when you have bad skin to fix it. It's an ongoing process. It never really ends. It's all about maintaining that consistency of care. And no, that definitely does not mean that you need to have a 21 step skincare routine with lasers and weird grooming tools but you need at least a basic, consistent skincare routine that will clean, hydrate, and maintain your skin looking young, smooth, soft, and clear. That is the goal, right? I don't even know what I did, I don't know, I counted to a lot of numbers, but you know what I mean. This is the ideal skin goal, and that's what we're doing today. We are going over the beginner's guide to skincare for men. By the way, guys, on this channel, I will teach you everything I know about men's skincare, men's fashion, hair, fitness, dating advice. I'm here to help you in any way I can, so if you're new, Make sure to hit that subscribe button below to join our family of close to 3 million subscribers. All right, so first things first, before you ever buy any product, you need to understand what type of skin you have. Everyone has different skin types. For example, you might have a shiny forehead most of the time, which probably means you have oily skin. Or if you get flaky and your skin gets irritated very easily, then you might have dry skin. And to confuse things even a step further, you might have a combination of dry and oily skin, which is what I have. My forehead is usually oily and so is my nose, but the sides of my nose here are very dry. And so are my cheeks and my jaw. So, I really have to be careful with the type of products that I use. Alex, how am I supposed to find out what type of skin I have, then figure out the right products for it? It sounds really confusing. Well, it doesn't have to be, all right? I partnered up with Geology for today's video and they will guide you from this very first step. All you have to do is go to their website and take a 30 second quiz about your skin and your health. Like, do you have any dark circles? Do you get acne? Do you currently have a skincare routine, etc.? And they will formulate the right products for you. It's exactly what us guys are looking for, right? We don't want to try a bunch of different products and hope that it works. We just want it done right the first time around so that we can move on with our lives. So take a second, well, 30 seconds, to do an assessment of your skin, figure out what your goals are, and then get started on actually implementing that solution. Oh, and by the way, I teamed up with Geology to give you guys a huge 30% discount on your order. So make sure to use the code ALEX30X2 after you take your quiz and you are ready to get your new skincare products. Now, let's talk about the solution, right? Let's start with your diet. Without the right diet, your skin just isn't really going to improve. Here is what really helped me. I stopped consuming dairy products. I will have Greek yogurt here and there because I love it, but that's about it. When making my protein shake, I switch from milk to water. When eating at a restaurant, I always ask for no cheese. Those little changes made a huge difference in the way that not not only the way that I feel, honestly, and in the way that my skin looks too, though. I also cut down chocolate and nuts. Most chocolate has dairy in it. And nuts, for whatever reason, always give me pimples. It's crazy how certain I am that I'm gonna get a pimple the next day if I sit there and munch on peanuts or whatever. So I stopped doing that. Guys, start paying attention to when you get your pimples. What did you eat prior to getting that pimple? And if there's a pattern, then change it to see if that helps. And my guess is it's going to help because your diet is a key part of how your body behaves in general. Now, let's talk about products and what your actual skincare routine should look like. Well, remember I talked about the basic, easy approach to skincare? It all starts with a good cleanse to get rid of all of those impurities that accumulate on your skin. If you wipe your desk right now, there's probably a little bit of dust there, right? Even if you cleaned it yesterday or even this morning. Imagine that, but on your face. But even more because your face tends to be stickier, so it holds more of those particles. And yeah, that's pretty gross. We have to clean that off. Geology sends you not one, but two face washes. Why? Well, because, you know, you can keep one in the shower and one in your gym bag or one in your bathroom sink. And they just send you two because they're nice and they just want you to have two, that's why. That way you always remember to wash your beautiful faces. But after you wash your face, it will probably feel a little dry because you're cleansing all of that dirt, but also a lot of the oils on your skin are gonna be gone. 
So the second step would be to rehydrate your skin by applying the Geology Moisturizing Face Cream. This will give it that nice dewy complexion. I love the way this feels on my skin. It immediately adds life to my skin. And step three is to apply eye cream, especially if you're tired of having those dark circles under your eyes, right? A great tip here is to use your ring finger to apply this because the skin under your eyes is extremely thin and sensitive. So I actually lightly apply it, like just dab it with my ring finger, which by the way, is a pretty weak finger. So it will keep you from being too aggressive and damaging your skin with your big manly hands. That's why you use your ring finger because it's a lot lighter touch. And that's it. That's it for the basic three-step approach. Cleanse, moisturize, apply eye cream. You know, do that twice a day and you're good. Once in the morning before you start your day, once again at night before you go to bed. Geology actually has a special night cream too that is heavier, moisturizes your skin really well while you sleep. You guys are gonna love this one because it immediately feels so nice. It feels like it's helping because it's so thick and creamy. And like I said guys, the best part about these products is that they're personalized for you. So the ingredients in your products will be different from mine because we have different skin types, different skin goals, which is awesome. It's such a great idea, right? And it works much better than generic products that you can just pick up off a shelf. Plus, they have over 2,000 five-star customer reviews, so you know it's legit. Now, let's talk about going one step further. Well, technically, two steps further. The first one is a suggestion that I have for you. If you're outdoors a lot, even on cloudy days, make sure that you're applying a strong sunscreen to protect your skin from harmful UV rays. Those can really cause a lot of skin damage from sunspots that are permanently embedded into your face I have some of those and it sucks, to skin cancer. This is serious stuff. Geology does offer SPF in their face cream if that's something that you're interested in doing and I highly recommend it. Or you can just use your own strong SPF if you're going outside. And the second thing that I recommend is exfoliating your face twice a week. Now, every time I talk about exfoliating, I get questions like, Alex, First of all, what the heck is exfoliating? And second, why do I need to do that if I'm already cleansing my face twice a day? First, exfoliating is the process of removing dead skin cells. And second, there are a few ways to do this. You can use either a chemical exfoliant or physical. Chemical exfoliants tend to be the best option for ridding the skin of dirt and grime without irritating your skin. One thing I love about geology is that the face wash contains silicic acid, a chemical exfoliant. So I don't have to worry about using a physical exfoliant to scrub away my dead skin cells. But if you don't use a face wash with a chemical exfoliant, then a physical exfoliant may be a good alternative if you don't have sensitive skin. And guys, I know you really want to pop that pimple, but keep your hands and fingers off your face as much as possible, especially with what's happening out there. Instead of popping that pimple, just use a face wash, all right? Cleanse that area really well. Wait until your body naturally takes care of it because when you pop a pimple, basically what you're doing is this. You're ripping, right? It's like a small tear on your skin that's going to get that juice out, whatever it is. And sometimes that tear is bigger than we want it to be and it becomes a permanent scar. So be really careful. Check out the link below. Take the 30 second quiz to learn more about your skin and get 30% off geology with my discount code right here. If you learned something new in this video, if you wanna learn even more about skincare, hair, fitness, dating advice, fashion, then hit the subscribe button and join the fam. I would love to have you here. I also upload every single day on TikTok and Instagram. Both are at Alex Costa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.